Okay, your assignment is to write a paper on something related to your profession and uh, opportunities or challenges within it that you're going to face in the next few years or currently. And you have to use as resources articles, books, etc., that you find through the library website. So by searching the library's databases, you know this pesky requirement. The uh, instructor really doesn't want to see you just using Google websites because anyone can do that. It doesn't really show a high skill of research and eh, it's hard to verify all those things. So they want you to use a higher level of research. They want you to use the library databases whether you like it or not. So in coming up with a topic or refining your topic, it's not really, I don't think it's a great idea to just do this on your own, brainstorm it all and come up with your full outline. And then the last step after you're really happy with your topic, the very last step is you're going to jump in here and do some research and you don't find anything. You can't find enough research to back up your wonderful topic and then you're stuck because you're completely committed to the topic by this point. You've already turned in an outline for it. Your instructor is expecting this paper and you can't find any research on it. So my advice would be develop your topic that you're going to write about. Narrow this down, refine this as you're working in the database, okay? Because there's no point in committing to a wonderful topic if you can't find research on it. Here's what I would do to just do this. I'm going to bypass the search box here and I'm going to go directly to advanced search. Okay. So, in advanced search here, and I do this because I like these different search boxes. I don't want to just have one search box to look at. Okay, I am involved in education. So, let's say that's what I'm studying here. So, I'm going to type in education or teaching. Now, there's going to be so many, so many. Uh, articles, books, etc. on this. I, I'll just kind of sneak up on this and we can do this in as many stages and searches as you want. I'll just run a search here to get my set of articles on education and teaching. That's fine. And I'm not worried about finding too many articles. I'm only worried if I don't find enough. So, oh boy, over 16 million. So education or teaching, obviously that's going to be great. Uh, let's talk about uh, some opportunities or challenges. How about online education? Let's ex and I'm just experimenting. Let's see what's out there. And type in online. <clears throat> see what happens here. It's running its search here. Okay, that cut it down significantly. We have over a million there. So this is obviously going to be easy. What about online or remote? Notice how we use these ors. Education or teaching. Either one of these is fine. And either one of these. And notice how I put these in separate boxes. These are different topics. This essentially for my purposes means the same as that. This, for my purposes, for what I'm looking for, means about the same thing as that, but they might be in, uh, in there in different ways. So I want as many articles as I can before I start narrowing them down. So there, we're gonna do a search here. And that, that brought it up a little bit. This is starting to look good here. Uh, it looks like this is going to be a good topic. Let me get more specific about this. How about if I put in here high school, specifically interested in high school. And we're in search. Okay. There's, looks like there's a lot of good things. See, and I'm, I'm just experimenting with these searches as I, I have to have a lot of research for this paper and I'm, I'm coming up with this as I'm running the search. How about high school or secondary? And I'm just letting this search evolve as we go here. It's kind of like pulling the slot machine lever every time I do this to see what's in there. Okay. This is looking good. Now, let's say um, online or remote. Let's say that's in the title. That has to be in the titles of these resources, articles, books, etc. I want that in the title. I really want to focus in on that. I think I'm maybe going to write my paper on high school, remote online learning. Specifically, and I want this to be specific. I don't just want to, just writing a paper on online learning, it, you could do it, but that's a pretty big topic. If, if possible, I want to refine this and bring this down to something more specific. Okay, it's trying, the wheels are spinning, it's having a hard time. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we see online and remote is in the titles of all of these. It's looking pretty good. And I could get, I could get more specific with this too. What if education or teaching has to be in the subject? 
Notice how I'm not messing with these. I like these boxes. And if we need more boxes, we can always use this little plus sign to get more search boxes. So you don't have to worry about that. You're not really going to use it that way. Okay, what if high school or secondary was in the title also? And I'm just doing this one step at a time. I'm just experimenting to see if this is, this is going to be a good topic to write about. Look at that. Perfect. It's exactly, exactly what I'm looking for. This is 1,184. This is not, this topic's not going to be a problem at all. But do you see how simple this is? And don't worry about, oh, I have all these. We can narrow that down, and you can just choose the ones, and you can keep adding boxes and narrowing this down more. But this is what I want to see. And now I'm starting to think I'm going to write a paper on the challenges and opportunities of online high school education. Okay. And I know now that I've done this cooperating with the databases, I know there's plenty out there on this topic. I don't have to worry about that. Whereas I could have spent weeks struggling and outlining and writing up ideas for what I'm going to write about, and then I wouldn't find it. So I like to keep this really real, very realistic. This is going back to 1984. Let's bring this up about 2018, 2022. You can set that date to whatever you want. Updating it, taking out anything that's not within those. There's 387 articles. Okay. You could also sometimes an instructor might ask just to see peer reviewed or scholarly literature. You could turn that box on right there and narrow it down to peer reviewed. And then we just bring peer reviewed articles. There's still 140. So this this would be a great topic to write about. And I was just experimenting. So I would highly recommend when you're deciding what to write about, or you're narrowing down your topic, or finding your topic, that you do it in conjunction with database searches, because in the end, your paper is going to have to have a good number, sometimes 7 to 10, sometimes more, sometimes 15 sources. And it looks so much better, and your instructor, I guarantee you, they want to see you using these types of sources, instead of just something that you found on Google. They've just been burned too many times by that, and they don't want to have to go through and validate to make sure that it's, it's, a, it's a valid website. So this is this is how I'd recommend doing this. Uh, that's probably enough. That's a good topic. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.